What's up, everybody? Just Chan here. Um, um, so today, my ass got to drive all the way to Maryland, and I live in Virginia, so it's gonna be quite a hike. But uh, I took an L on some uh, sneakers two weeks ago, but um, I one of my um, I didn't know at the time. But one of my friends last week posted a video, uh, well, on a, um, not a video, what am I talking about? A, um, a post on Snapchat basically saying that um, he had, he basically was able to get a pair of a certain sneaker. And I was like, and it, ironically, it was my size. So I hit him up and I was like, hey man, let me get those off y'all. And so he was, um, he hooked the brother up and uh, yeah. Now I gotta drive my ass all the way to Maryland. <laughs> And damn, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm predicting there's gonna be a fuck ton of traffic. So, I might be sitting in this car for like two or three hours. <laughs> but uh, whatever, uh, the life of a sneakerhead, just gotta get my shoes, man. Um, once I get there, uh, once I pick them up, I will, um, I will show y'all what it is. I, um, no vlogging while driving, so I'll catch you guys when I get there. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. What's good, everybody? So, I'm here up in Maryland right now. Uh, got up here safe and sound. Um, just met up with my buddy and he just handed me the shoes. And um, y'all want, want a sneak peek? Y'all want a sneak peek? How about this? Let me y'all sneak peek. Of the, so y'all see y'all see the red tape? Y'all see the red tape? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh, baby! Oh shit! Not really. Not really. <laughs> I'm a bad man. I'm just I'm being over exaggerating right now. But. Yes, uh, it is a pair of Yeezy uh, 350s, and y'all probably already know exactly what it is. I'm not gonna say what it is, but y'all already know what it is, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drive home. Um, probably gonna, I'm probably gonna hit some traffic. DMV traffic is a bitch right now. It's, uh, it's right now, it's 317, and DMV traffic is a bitch after three o'clock on Fridays. So, um, Whatever, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm about to, I'm, I'm like, like I said, I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna do this unboxing for y'all. One eternity later. What's up, everybody? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this uh, unboxing for y'all. Well, not really an unboxing because it's uh, already opened up, so I'm not gonna need my uh, handy dandy knife today. What happened was uh, when this shoe had dropped, um, I took an L on it and I wasn't able to get the shoe But unfortunately uh, enough um, one of my friends posted on IG that he was able to, to um, Get this shoe himself and lucky for me. It was um, my size in the past for, for like V2s which this is a V2 I've always gotten a size 12 but um <laughs> I haven't actually worn it in my V2s recently, so I found out recently that the size 12 is actually a little too small for me. It's like really, 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 really small. And if you didn't know already, right, these V2s, um, V2s in general run extremely small, so it's like, um, it's best bet is probably size up, you know, unless you've tried on and made sure that like, treat like your size your like your specific size does fit you but for me personally i found out that um because of all the padding and the way that the, the v2 is shaped um the shoe does tend to fit um kind of a little bit on the small side so my best bet was to size up to a size 13 because there's no um uh, i guess 12 and a half these were were a 13 and as you can see it is a um a 350 Yeezy 350, last 350 of the year, and um, these were actually the um, 
Oh, as you see, size 13. These were actually the, um, out of the three uh, pairs that they dropped, I guess, for the, uh, for the end of the year, uh, these were actually the ones that I wanted the most. Um, I didn't really care for the belugas, even though I hit on them. Mm -hmm. um, I did the semi, the semi frozen uh, yellows were all right, but these, these were the ones that I freaking wanted. The blue tints. These were the, these were the um the colorway that I thought was the best um, colorway out of all three because I don't know. It's just it's just something about this color. I, th I think it's, I think it's like the blue. The blue is just, the way that it just pops. It's just it's just crazy. Like I don't know if you can see that. Let me let me give you all a close up. Like like the soul the soul's got a blue tint to it. The whole thing's got a nice little gray and like a nice little blue. Especially like this part right here. The like the lining is just blue, infrared. Yeah, like kind of reddish infrared. Um, Supply 350 stitching. Um, design it's almost exactly like the zebra like I looked at my uh, my friends um, zebra and the design is almost exactly the same so there you go get a nice little close-up look at the 350 v2 blue tent colorway nicest colorway nicest 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 color at the three out of the three colors in my opinion um, not really big fan of the blue guys like I said not a big fan of the uh, of the frozen, the semi-frozen yellows. Um, actually, no, I'll say that the Belugas are okay. It's a very, very, very nice neutral shoe to wear, but this one is the one that I wanted. It just got the whole, like, bluish shade to the whole thing, to the sole, and especially, I don't know, man. Like, this joint, this joint just pops. Like I said, I took an L, because I'm, I was in New York, so, like, I was actually sat in the Starbucks from 9 a.m all the way until um, almost like one o'clock in the Starbucks in New York trying to get this shoe. And I just like, just could not get, get any luck. But you used to apply like restock like maybe like three or four times, like maybe, like, maybe the, more than that. And I just still couldn't hit. Like your boy just couldn't get an L that day. I mean, could get, couldn't get a W that day. It was just crazy, crazy, crazy. But um, I was willing enough to um, pay resale for this. But um, what, like I said, one of my friends he posted on, on IG and was and was selling it for like uh, he sold he well he was selling it for resale, but it wasn't like a bad resale number. It was like uh, he sold it to me for three hundred dollars, which is like under like current resale values. I think these are going for like three fifty ish. Like yeah, like three fifty. They you need them for like around three fifty ish. I think actually some people are even selling for like as low as like three like forty. Like 340 to 380 is like is like the window you're trying to look for. But he gave he was able to sell it to me for um 300. So, and I was I I was willing to pay like 350 for him. But he gave it to me 300. So it was really really generous of him. Oh, let me show you the inside. It's got a nice infrared or reddish. What is that? Do y'all know is that is that considered infrared or red? Let me look. What is what is the, the tag say? The tag says. Nope, I don't know what it says. It doesn't say any type of red, it just says a whole bunch of mumble jumbo. But, oh, you guys, you see the sole? Nice, 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 um, bluish, bluish cream sole. I'm um, like a milky blue, milky, uh, sole with a nice bluish tint to it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, probably use, uh, some Jason Marks and, like, waterproof this one. Probably do the same time with my Beluga 2s. And I'll probably rock these. I'll probably rock these sooner than later. Definitely rock these sooner than later. Especially, like I said, like, um, I'll probably rock these more because these are probably more comfortable, too, because they are, um, a better fitting size for me at 13. So, for all you guys out there, if you guys have never had a V2 before, um, make sure for future pairs or if you're trying to cop, like, um, like past releases, two size up, maybe not, maybe a half size. Um, my, uh, my, my good friend's Dari, he wears a nine and a half and he gets a 10 and he says that's still too small. So he has to size it to like a 10 and a half in order for him to do well. I hope you guys all had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I hope that you guys were able to be like with family and your loved ones. I hope they all went well. And hopefully you guys can all stay safe, had 
amazing time because I know that I did. Um, I, I was able to um, go to uh, Cancun with my family, which was the completely last minute thing, you know, and they, um, they, uh, my, my parent, my, mo my mother surprised me. It was like, hey, we're going to Cancun with our cousins. So I was like, oh shit, that joke was dope as hell. Um, but um, yeah, went to Cancun, uh, recently got back and uh, went to, uh, drove up to Maryland and picked up these shoes today. Otherwise I would've got them earlier. This video would've dropped earlier in the week, maybe like even like on Monday or Tuesday, but I was, like I said, out of the country. Amazing, amazing, amazing. With New Year's coming up, I wanna wish everybody a happy, happy, happy New Year's. You know, um, finish 2017 strong as hell. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody had an amazing 2017 with a whole bunch of W's. It doesn't have to be just sneakers, but in any way possible, I hope you, all you guys got W's and everything that you guys did. I hope you guys had an amazing year, accomplished a lot, achieved all your goals, you know, and hopefully going into um, 2018, we all finish 2017 strong as hell and then move into 2018 and all have an amazing time. You know, we're all in for an amazing year. I, I just feel it. All of us going to accomplish and just do big things, you know. All of us going to do big things and all of us going to be successful. All you guys out there who are gonna celebrate the big, big, big day with closing out 2007, happy new years. Be safe, you know, and most importantly of all, just have fun, you know? Just have fun with it. But like I said, I'm out. Happy New Year's. Stay safe. And like I said, have yourself some fun. Oh, I know that I'll regret this when it's over